planner babes it is Ashley from Ashley Anderson creates today we are going to get the monthly section of my catch-all planner set up and ready to go for May here I'm showing you that I'm using the summer vibes sticker book that's from the happy planner and then I also have this super adorable washi tape and I end up using the coral washi tape inside of this monthly spread now if you're new here welcome all of my planner supplies at least 99% of them are from the happy planner I do have a few um, things that are not but almost everything that I have comes from the happy planner so I just want to share that with you in case you're wondering where you can find those things at I always try to link as much as I can down in the description box unfortunately most of the planners that I'm using right now are sold out but new planners have been rolling out so you guys can check those out at check those out as well if I could speak today okay so in my catch-all planner let's talk about the monthly section what I use this section for I love hearing about how others use the monthly section of their planner it's like a it's like a hot commodity to me and I'm sure it is for you guys especially if you're new because I always wondered when I first started out what do people use the monthly section for so for me in my catch-all planner this is where I will put my work schedule anything that my son has going on whether it's for school it's for cub scouts um, if he's hanging out with friends like whatever it is that he's got going on same thing for my husband um, I don't put my husband's work schedule in here because it doesn't change uh, so that just stays the same and I don't add it but if he has like golf tournaments or anything like that then I will add those in there as well and then um, birthdays and holidays and stuff go inside of this planner now something I'm super stoked about is for the month of May I'm going with a beach theme which is my favorite if you know me anything nautical is my favorite period actually my house is decorated in nautical stuff that's how much I love it um, so I love these palm trees in the summer summer vibe sticker book see I'm talking too much this is my fourth video I'm editing today and clearly clearly my body is telling me that I need to shut up I promise I don't like hearing myself talk this much either <laughs> but I do love the palm trees in this sticker book I love that ombre effect of them I think they're so stinking cute and I was gonna wait until like July you know and use these because that that's more of like summer months but I'm ready for summer in May so I'm using them but I do love the way that this turned out it's super super cute I always knew we could do so many great things So believe in me, I believe in you And I just feel that this will be an upswing So hear me out I know we lost our purpose Chasing all that surplus I don't know if you catched it or not Catched it? Is that the right word? Caught it? I don't know if you caught it. There we go. That's, oh, see, here we go with me talking. Um, if you're new here, this happens quite frank, frequent. <laughs> oh, all I can say you're new is laugh. Laugh at how ridiculous I sound right now. Lord, please, Lord, give me some words that are understandable. Okay. Um, what was I saying? If you didn't catch it. Yeah, that's right. That catch can be past tense, can it? caught or catch I need you to catch the ball oh look at you you caught the ball like I'm trying to sit here to decide oh I need an English teacher right now anyways a few minutes ago in the beginning I did it kind of quickly because I sped up the video I pulled out a piece of parchment paper that I had already pulled stickers from uh, from the sticker book and I put them on the parchment paper Anyways, where I was going with this, I wanted to tell you if you are new into planning and you would love a way to see how to place your stickers on your spreads without that commitment of actually sticking them down, get some parchment paper. Do not get wax paper. Don't get anything else. It has to be parchment paper because your stickers, not even the clear ones, will stick to parchment paper. You can put them on there you can you can kind of see through parchment paper a little bit especially whenever you put it on your planner spread so it acts as a guide so i just want to share that with you now the happy planner also has planning guides that you can get and with those ones you pop them directly onto the discs over your spread and then you put your stickers on there and those work fantastic as well um, but i just want to give you a couple of options there if you're new to planning and you kind of kind of nervous about where you're placing your stickers those two options are great 
to serve as guides for you. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking for a few minutes. Enjoy this lovely music as I try to figure out the English language. Trying to fly cause I'm light as a feather But I can't hide, I can't low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get out, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool But if I fall, I would get out Okay, I'm back to talk again about the parchment paper. So when I put the palm leaf stickers on that left page down in the bottom right corner of it, I put it directly over top of that the hole that's already punched there for the spread. So what I like to do when I do that, I used to set and I would cut them out with scissors. Like if I put stickers over the punched holes, I would go in with a pair of scissors and I would cut that out. That is definitely doable, but it's super tedious. If you take parchment paper, you can use a scrap piece of paper, you can use an old Happy Notes, like whatever you have, and you line that up with your planner sheet and you punch it, you will cut right through that sticker. The leftover sticker that gets cut off from the punch will actually stick to your sheet that you stick in there with it. So like, let's say you stick a Happy Notes paper in there, like a scrap paper, and you punch it, that sticker will stick to your scrap paper, not to your punch. And so that's what I do whenever I put stickers over the punched holes. I just repunch them, but I just wanted to share with you to put something behind it so you don't get your um, your punch all like have that sticky residue in there and tear your punch up. I don't want to see you tear your punch up. Okay, my friends, there is my Beach Babe spread. That's what we're calling it. We're gonna call it Beach Babe spread. Word of the video is going to be Beach Babe or word of the video can also be discombobulated, whichever one that you wanna get creative with. And by word of the video, I mean at the end of the video, I give you a word, get creative with it, comment with it down below so I know that you have watched until the end. Thank you for sticking with me through all that mess. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Seriously, have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.